Hello everyone, I'm back again with another case video. This is a subcase. It's the um, UB Mag XT for iPhone 15 Pro Max with a camera cover. It's also compatible with MagSafe. And it's a heavy duty rugged case with a built-in kickstand. And you get it on Amazon for $24.99. Um, it also has a little coupon there for 8% off it looks like. It comes in different colors. Um, I got the black one, but it also comes in, um, let's see here, uh, gold, golden, golden, golden. It looks like a green color. Mountain, red, and let's see, gray. So that would probably match the titanium one nicely. Um, I was curious about it because it had, it's more of a um, rugged case and I was thinking you know, people who work in maybe uh, environments like construction and what have you might be, let me zoom in a little bit there, might be uh, interested in it. Uh, so I'll go ahead and pop it on. Of course, um, Amazon, as they've been doing lately, sent me a open case that's been used um, <laughs> with fingerprints on it. So I already uh, unpack it, but that's how they roll oftentimes. Um, so, and I don't mind them doing that, but they should say it's open box and charge you accordingly. So again, Unicorn Beetle, um, subcase, it has drop protection. I believe it's military grade up to 15 feet, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, there's that. I'm filming this on the Galaxy Z Fold 5. So I noticed that um, it's a little lower, the volume of the microphone. So I'll try to speak up a little bit louder to compensate for that. Hopefully it's not too loud, but it came like this. I don't know. I suspect that this was already open, so I don't know if you'll get different experience, but I didn't get any paperwork inside or no cushion or anything. And Subcase usually has like a, a cushion in there. So I have a feeling this was an open one already, but it's pretty rugged. You can see the MagSafe also is there. Um, it's a pretty, you know, it's rubber. It's, it's a little slippery, but not too slippery. It's kind of, it's not very grippy, but it's also not too slippery. So it's kind of in between. MagSafe goes there. Um, it also has a camera protector. So this is like a little like metal to protect the camera. And so you kind of pop it in like that. And then it also doubles as a kickstand. So when you want to stand it up, you can put it like that. But I'll go ahead and pop the, the case in. Now, what I do like about it, you know what? Let me go ahead and put the, the phone in here. What I do like about it, um, it, it is a little thick. And so what, what I'm going to say is it's going to add some bulk and weight to your um, your phone. Uh, it didn't feel like a brick in my pocket with the that um, Lamacol um, MagSafe case that I've been using, the very thin case, but this one does feel a little brick-like. So it adds a lot of weight. So this one doesn't have like the metal camera cover. It's just a basic MagSafe case, very thin, very light. This is not um, super heavy, but it's not light either, okay? So it has good, uh, you know, it, the, the volume up and down works fine. All of the cutouts are fine. That subcase does pretty good work. I think this is actually one of their better feeling cases. Um, the really super rugged ones I find that are like the unicorn beetles. Um, I find that they are um, the, the ones with the, that are really hard plastic, like with the front cover and everything. They're really slippery because they're kind of cheap hard plastic, I think. This actually feels a lot better. Um, it's a little more on the rubbery side, so uh, I, I actually like it. Um, the volume up and down works fine here. Power button works fine here. What I do like about it is that when you're touching the action button, it actually has a little ridge there, and it's a different color. Now, I keep hitting this <laughs> stupid button. It's a great button once I get used to it, but I keep hitting it as my up volume, and then, um, you know, in the action takes the does its thing i keep missing this so i keep this is down volume and this is up volume for me i have to get used to it being here and with it i don't know i feel like it's closer it doesn't have a different feel so what i like about this case is that when you're kind of feeling for it it does have that little ridge there and you can kind of feel that it's a different button i don't know if any of you are having that issue but i'm definitely having that issue i keep hitting that button for the volume up all the cutouts are clean look good i do like the extra protection on the corners as well. So it's a pretty rugged case. Um, this part here is, again, it's metal. So it really adds, it's kind of heavy. And then you snap it in place. So it offers protection for the cameras as well. 
Um, let's go ahead and do the MagSafe test. I have my trusty empty Apple wallet here. And yeah, that's not going anywhere. Well, it's not going anywhere, I don't think. Yeah, it's pretty good. I guess I just kind of gotten underneath there, but no, this is fine. Uh, I guess maybe pulling it in and out of the pocket. If you have tight pants on, that might be an issue, but as far as like it going anywhere, it feels like a really tight grip. So, oh yeah, that's going to be good. So the MagSafe works pretty well, um, you know, overall. So yeah, this is, um, again, the Unicorn Beetle uh, subcase. Uh, it's Mag XT, and this is in black. Uh, and again, it runs for $24.99 on Amazon. Um, if you want something rugged, but not over the top, uh, it doesn't have a screen protector, so you have to add your own. Uh, this is actually not a bad option, given the price, and if you really want this camera cut out. But what I will say is it does add a lot of weight to the to the phone. So my 13 Pro Max felt like a brick in the pocket when I was walking around. So I'm happy to have this 15 Pro Max with a titanium build because it's much lighter. With this case, it feels like not a, doesn't feel nearly as heavy as it used to be. It feels fine. I, no big deal. And my judgment is like my basketball kind of shorts that, that I wear with the pockets. I don't know. They're jersey-ish shorts. They wear with the pockets and they kind of drag down. Like a heavy phone will drag them down and I have to pick them up. Um, that's the test for me. Okay, so I'm out walking around or, you know, on the treadmill or something. Um, and my phone starts weighing down uh, those shorts. That's my test. And so with this case, they don't weigh down at all. In this case, they kind of do weigh down a little bit. So that very unscientific <laughs> test is how I how I figure um, you know, whether or not that this is heavy a heavy phone or not. So this is gonna make it heavy. Um, this is thick rubber, this is metal. So if you want that and you need that, I think it's it's great. It's a good option. If you work like um construction or something, you might want to have a case that covers the screen as well but with like a built-in screen protector and with like a holster but this one um you know it's kind of a pretty good bet overall i think anyhow that's all for now um again subcase um egg xt iphone 15 pro max thank you for watching i hope you're well i hope your family's well and take care